And after you remember what got you here in the first place, you need to repent. And don't cover up your weakness. The Bible said, come out from among them and be ye separated. You cannot live a life that pleases God until you separate yourself from sin. And let me serve notice on all y'all who try to separate but still hang around sinners. Now I'm not saying that all your running buddies, oh yeah, I am saying that. I'm not saying that you can't go to the Safeway unless the cashier is saved. <laughs> can't go to Walmart. Y'all know I love Walmart. Can't go to Walmart unless everybody in there is speaking in tongues. I'm not suggesting that. But what I am suggesting is that your close associates, those people that you are in relationship and fellowship with, they need to be Christians. I don't understand how you could have so much fellowship with somebody who ain't loving God. I just don't understand it. And help me understand why the weak bunch hang around weak folk. If you, and you know weak folk when you get with weak folk, they don't never want to pray. They don't never have nothing good to say about nobody. Always talking against the program. Always down in the president. Talking against the ministry. Sowing discord. How you going to have so much in common with somebody like that? Jeremiah says... You need to remember. And if you're going to move to this next level and not receive God's judgment, you need to repent. Because maybe the thing that's holding up your blessing and breakthrough is you. Maybe it ain't even the devil. Maybe the thing or the person that's stopping God's hand of blessing on your life is you. Because the Bible is true through and through. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, oh, y'all don't like to hear this. That's what you going to reap. We don't sing it no more, but I loved it when they were singing it. I gave it up. That's when he blessed me. Turned it loose. That's when he blessed me. I let it go. That's when he blessed me. You need to think about what you're holding on to. You need to think about who you don't want to let go of. You need to think about what you don't want to turn her loose. Because maybe the very moment that you make up your mind to walk away from it, that's when God is going to open up the windows of heaven. Slap your neighbor five and say, turn it loose. Slap that neighbor on the other side of five and say, let it go. Turn around and slap that neighbor behind you and tell him, give it up. So God can bless you. Say it.